हेलो एवं वेलकम टू पार्ट हंड्रेड ऑफ एडवांस ई कॉम सीरीज इन लरावेट सो फाइनली वी आर इन पार्ट हंड्रेड एंड कंग्रेट्स फॉर ऑल दोस हु रीच अप टिल दिस वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डू द लॉग इन फंक्शनैलिटी इन लास्ट फ्यू वीडियोज यू हैव सीन दैट वी एबल टू डू दी रजिस्टर फंक्शनैलिटी एंड वी एबल टू वैलीडेट अवर रजिस्टर फॉर्म विद जे क्वेरी एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन लॉग इन फंक्शनैलिटी and we will also validate it with jquery okay so uh, let's start so first of all i am going to check i am going to update this login form so i will open this blade file login register blade file okay so let's open login register blade file okay so i will go in action i will i'm going to give the action here uh, first of all id of the form and id of the form i will give login form like this and then i will give the action here and action i can give i have already make its route uh, in earlier videos if you have seen that we have made this route in earlier video so login is the route for this one so i will give login and method i will give as post and don't forget to give csrf token okay we used to give like this in laravel 6 and later okay so i will check once in web.php that if our route has already there see the route is already there login okay post route okay we want the post route because uh, user is going to uh, submit uh, going to submit data like uh, email and password user is going to submit here so post route is required so now this function login register function i am going to create in users controller okay so i will open users controller and here in the similar way like we have created the register user i am going to create the uh, login uh, user function okay so let's create public function login uh, rest, uh, sorry not login register uh, it's the function name is i am going to check once again uh, it's login user okay so login user function i am going to create so request dollar request as we are getting the data in post okay so i'm going to add the check here if uh dollar request is method post like we always used to do okay so like this and dollar data dollar request all okay so up till this one uh, so first of all we are going to check that data poster is coming uh, fine here okay so we will do like this we will just debug this one and we can check it like this okay so the data we will make sure that coming fine so now we can test once and i will open the inspect element as well at bottom and here i go open the network here i close uh, remove everything earlier one so i can try uh, with some id like i will try anything okay because right now i am just uh, testing it click on sign in and here you can see only token is going and rest of the data is not going because we have not given anything okay so we can do one thing uh we can uh see update email and password with id and name in the same way like we have done for the register form so we can pick the email address and password from here only okay uh we can just simply pick this one because everything all classes and everything remain the same and i am going to replace this one because these two things we required email and password okay so we can just simply remove this one like this okay email and password and i will go back here and you can check here email and password is now fine so we can make it same like email address email address okay uh, so you can uh, make it simple like email uh, no need to give your uh, email address looks or okay so both ways it will look same okay so now we are having uh, uh, this one uh, now we are having the email and password here as well okay so now see 
here i will give uh, once again uh, because now i am ha having the uh, name as well as id okay type also email and type password okay so now we can try you can try with anything okay one two three four five six and sign in okay now you can check it out here that email and password is coming fine okay in the next page okay so now it is working fine now we can able to log in uh, first of all we are going to check whether the email uh, is email and password are correct or not and if correct then we are going to log in we are going to use auth attempt once again like we have done for the register user so once again we are going to use in the same way so we are going to use like auth attempt auth attempt like this auth attempt and here we are going to use like email uh, we are getting from there dollar data email and password we are also getting password okay so dollar data password so we are going to check like this and if auth attempt is uh, is successful then we are going to return redirect the user anywhere we want okay we can redirect to the home page we can redirect to the card page okay so we can uh, redirect to the card page like this one like this okay or you can redirect to any of the listing page as well okay it's our wish and else else we are going to show the error message to the user that uh, invalid username or password okay we will show such a message to a user okay invalid username or password here we will use uh, session flash okay we will send the error message error message to the user like this okay so we will return uh, redirect we will redirect back the user okay now we can try i am going to comment this one now we can try our code so let's see first of all i am going to try with this one and here you see the message is coming by user and password but we want the common message for both we don't want see it is it looks like we have filled this form a register form but we have actually filled the login form so message must come here but we will show the message commonly uh so that uh, it seems that one of the thing is incorrect okay so for this i will just move this message uh, upwards like uh, i'm going to move this message after uh, hr like this here i think it's the perfect place for it okay so now we can try once again and let's see i'm going to refresh here we'll write something anything so that invalid message will come okay so now i can sign in and here you can see now it looks good okay so invalid username or password now the error message is the common for both the forms okay invalid username or password is coming and you can close it like this okay so now uh, now we will also try to log in and we will reach the card page so i will pick one of the username registered username okay amit at the rate of yorkmail.com that i have registered with so i will try with this one one two three four five six so let's see see now we able to log in with the correct username and password you can see the my account is coming here in header okay so we can able to log in with the auth functionality basic auth functionality we have used for this video so we able to log in and now we can log out as well okay so our login also working right now if we will put uh, the wrong email or password then it will show the error message and if we will put the right email or password then it will take us to uh, the card page okay so now we are going to add the validation uh, to our uh, login form in the same way like we have done for the register so uh, now 
the step uh, is not uh, long enough uh, it is the simple step that we need to follow we are going to open the script file front script.js and see here i have already have uh, we have already register form now i will just copy this register form for login form as well very simple enough nothing much to do i will just paste and we'll uh, use the login form id and login form id is login form okay and here i will uh, just write login validate login form on key up and submit and here uh, we just required email and password i will going to remove name and mobile just we required email and password at both ends email and password and our validation is ready see how much is easy it is because we have already added the register form validation and only we require email and password so we will just uh, make copy of it and we'll update it okay that's it and now we can try here let's see see sign in now it is coming please enter your email please choose your password okay so now see please choose your password will not come here because uh, the user will uh, enter his existing password okay so for that uh, the user uh, only required to uh, make it like uh, please enter your password okay we will make please enter your password and also uh, remote function will not uh, required here so we will also remove, remove the remote function from here okay so these two things now see it is simple email and password and nothing else okay so i am going to refresh once again and we'll click on sign in and you can see now it is coming please enter your email please enter your password now it is coming fine okay so so if uh, you are going to put the right one with the address of your mail dot com and password one two three four five six then it will take you inside of okay here you can see the shopping cart page has come up with my account at the top okay so i hope the login functionality is clear to you now we will move forward with the other things and see uh, we have done most of the things now but now we will do the send user register email and send user register sms okay so i'm going to first uh, do the sms uh, feature uh, user register sms and i will also do in next few videos uh, see we will also do like uh, if a user add, add the product in card and login or register after that then the product will uh, will be added to his means will will keep there we, we are going to keep that product for the user we are going to update uh, session with the user id okay that also we are going to do but first of all we are going to work on uh, sms and email and and from next video next is the hundred first video 101 video and uh, i want that see uh, these kind of videos you will not see anywhere on net okay so uh, i have uh, done much hard work uh, much uh, made much effort for you that uh, uh, such kind of thing and we are going to make the big website like amazon okay so um, they also use such kind of feature like i am uh, going to use like i am using so uh, one basic thing you need to do for, to assess 100 first video just join the basic membership okay try to join the basic membership it's not that much expensive it's just less than one dollar okay just less than one dollar basic membership so you can join this basic membership i think okay uh, and you will not get uh, such access see basic membership is just less than one dollar and if you will join some tuition some private tuition somewhere in school or somewhere you need to pay hundreds of dollars per month okay and this is less than one dollar and you can support the channel the person who watched 100 videos and like the videos and and uh, see after paying this uh, less than one dollar it's uh, i think around uh, 0.6 dollar only okay so after paying that much amount like uh, uh, you just uh, uh, make such kind of expense anywhere okay and just uh, uh, that small amount uh, so even you will get uh, 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 you will get the invitation of the live classes live laravel class okay and also i'm going to help you uh, anywhere you will get stuck okay and the first first preference will be given to you so uh, do join the basic membership and keep watching 
these videos uh, i assure you that we are going to make the very good good website uh, good e-commerce website and uh, we will keep making it live as well okay so stay tuned for next video and that is how to send sms uh, okay like we used to uh, like if someone uh, register uh, so that person will get the sms that you have been registered to our website welcome to our website like such kind of web sms we are going to send so we are going to learn the new thing we are going to learn the uh, uh that uh, curl functionality okay so uh, stay tuned for that okay then have a nice time goodbye